who do you think may be at risk of treatment failure and relapse in AML? To answer this question, I have to say that any patient with AML is at risk for treatment failure or relapse. So that's the, the first thing. But when one looks at AML and, and the, what patients um, are seen, one has to realize that at least two thirds of patients who present with AML are older patients over the age of about 55 to 60 years old. So even younger patients and older patients may have a risk of treatment failure. Now, older patients tend to have a worse risk or, or increased risk of treatment failure occurring. And it's based on a number of factors. First, factors related to the patient's underlying condition, if you want, to their overall performance status and other comorbid comorbidities that they may have that may lead to reduced or reduction in the amount of treatment that they can tolerate or be given in their initial treatment when they when they take intensive chemotherapy. So the, it could be that they cannot uh, be given the total dose that one would plan to give a patient. That's the one thing. So patient issues, and then also issues related to the underlying acute leukemia as well. Um, in that, there is more resistant type leukemia occurring in older people than in younger people. So that leads to an increased risk of failure. And um, about 50, 50 to 80% of older patients may have occurrence of relapse after they go into remission, uh, as you had described, um, with less than 5% blast. So now when we see a patient, we always try and categorize the patient's disease into low risk or intermediate risk or poor risk disease. And, and th those definitions are based on a number of, of, of characteristics of the leukemia. Um, and this also uh, lets us um, determine whether th there is a higher risk or a lower risk of relapse of the disease. Mm 